First of all, uh, thank you so much for coming here. Thank and um, you. oh, you're welcome. I just uh, wanted to ask you. So NBC, the past ten years, has had a great history of comedies with The Office, Thirty Rock, Community. So what is it like to be a part of that legacy now? Well, I did Thirty Rock. I did uh, Thirty Rock yeah. um, with Tina Fey, which was amazing, and working with NBC. So to now have. Um, a network that, that is completely behind this show and doing everything that they can to put it in the best possible light. It's just, be, it's, I'm in heaven. Yeah, right. Well, so I mean, me, like so many other people, have been watching The Crown and I've loved John Lithgow's performance as Winston Churchill. So, have, did you work with him in the show at all? Because I know he's in it, but I don't know if you have scenes together. Um, pretty much all of my scenes are with John oh. Lithgow. Oh. Every, pretty much every single scene is with John Lithgow, especially because I'm part of the legal defense team mm -hmm. defending him. So, to work with John Lithgow every single week, especially as he was doing The Crown, and to see him go from comedy to drama to comedy, it was a lesson in acting one-on-one. -on -one. I would be in his dressing room every day going, can you just give me some <laughs> acting advice? So, and he's a gentleman from, from the, he knows everybody on the cast and crew, and he had to work 17 hours a day and fly out and stump for Hillary Clinton, and he'd come back, and he was the same every single time. It was a joy. That's awesome. Well, do they allow you to do any improv on set, or is it pretty much to the script? Yes, uh, Jeffrey Blitz was our director who was nominated for um, for his uh, short film, I think it was The Spelling Bee, um, and he won an Emmy for directing The Office. <coughs> so we would do literally 23 takes, and in there he did allow us to do improv. And out of doing 23 takes, it was always a nugget that we would get and something that didn't make sense. They were very, very open to us improv -ing. Well, that's cool. I, uh, one last question as well. So as an actor, how do you balance the tone, since it's a mockumentary, and, but it's got a lot of criminal elements in it, in it, how do you balance sort of those shifting tones? Because it must be quite hard to do. You know, especially being a stand-up comic and coming from doing multi-camera format, being in a sitcom, it's it's a lot different because you're playing a joke in a sitcom with a multi-camera. Doing um, 30 Rock and something like Trial and Error, you're playing the truth of the moment. So you don't have to be big, you don't have to play the joke. That was probably hardest for me to take it, to bring it down. Thankfully, I had a John Lithgow, or I had a Nick D'Agosto, who was, he does Masters of Sex, you know, watching them, and I'm like, they're talking like this. I'm going, okay, well, maybe I need to do this too. So um, it, it, it was a challenge, but I loved it because you're playing the truth of it. You don't have to worry about the laughter. Right. The, 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 the truth will make it funny.